Tears and passion on Capitol Hill today as the House Oversight Committee focused on what's happening to migrant children uh, detained at the border. Testifying were lawmakers from both parties who had visited detention facilities. Republicans defended the Border Patrol agents facing a crush of arrivals, more than tripling numbers in the past. It is a crisis. It is real. And we do not get anywhere by blaming the people who are doing their best to help these people. While Democrats described the conditions they saw in Clint, Texas, of extreme overcrowding and migrants telling the lawmakers that they were forced to drink from toilets. And what was worse about this, Mr. Chairman, was the fact that there were American flags hanging all over these facilities, that children were being separated from their parents in front of an American flag, that women were being called these names under an American flag. Mr. Chairman, it needs to be noted into record. I spoke to CPB agents, even though they told us not to speak to them too. Remember that? And I said, what do you think we need to do because you guys are overwhelmed? They said, one of them, stop sending money, it's not working. Another one said, I wasn't trained for this. I am not a social worker. I am a medical, not a medical care worker. He actually said, I want to be at the border. That's what I was trained to be at. The separate, the one other one, the last one, Mr. Chairman, the separation policy isn't working, he said. But some of the most compelling sound came not from a member of Congress, but uh, a lawyer who monitors migrant facilities and spoke directly with these children. Many had not brushed their teeth for days. They were wearing the same clothes they had on when they crossed the border, clothes that were covered in nasal mucus, vomit, breast milk, urine. Multiple children had a strong stench emanating from them because they had not showered in days. At Clint, I met a six-year-old boy who I will never forget. He was tiny and he hardly spoke. When I asked him if he was at Clint with anyone, he began to sob nearly inconsolably for an hour, nearly an hour. All of this comes as the Oversight Committee just issued a report finding that at least 18 migrant children under the age of two had been kept from their parents anywhere from 20 days to six months. Clara Long is a senior researcher for Human Rights Watch and recently spoke with children detained at the border. And, and Clara, when you hear about these children sobbing for an hour, what does this do to them emotionally, mentally? Listening to, to Alora describe uh, that experience in Clint just resonates with me so deeply because that is exactly the same experience I had in another interview room in Clint with another child. It is child after child after child who is being traumatized probably permanently. The American Academy of Pediatricians says that any, kind, any length of detention can cause permanent harm to children. Right now, as we speak, um, they're actually opening up these facilities to members of the media. I know we've been asking, White House has done this. Trump is quoted as saying that they are, quote, beautifully run detention facilities. Your response to that? We spoke with dozens of children who gave us the same accounts. The Department of Homeland Security's Office of Inspector General confirmed our accounts. Uh, children who have since been released confirmed our accounts. Border Patrol agents speaking with the New York Times and other media outlets confirmed our accounts. I, at this point, um, pushing back against the facts of what has been happening on the U.S. border uh, is not a tenable position. Clara Long, thank you very much. Thank you.